All right. Hey, Dad and Random here. Um, what I have to fly for you today, and this is a brand new uh, version of the Pavo. This is the Pavo 35. Or 35. This is the layout that I want to be able to fly today, but I don't know yet. Um, whether I should fly it with the full-size camera. So what my goal is, is to get an Action 5 on it, but I am flying with the O3. So this is the newest of the Pavo lineup. Um, it is ELRS, uh, the way I have it set up, and uh, DJI O3. So I'll be flying today with um, my X-Lite controller. And uh, yeah, I did put the LEDs on, so That'll be interesting. But the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fly without the action camera. Let's, uh, let's do some test flying. Uh, this is the battery that I will fly the action camera with. This is the Lava 1100. All of these batteries, by the way, are 1100s. So I don't know what the weight difference is between the two. Um, uh, I'll put that up when I do the video. I'll weigh two batteries just so we have an idea what they see in, uh, where those a CNHL battery is um, versus the Lava 1100. I, so here we go. Let's just fly O3 at first and then uh, uh, I'll give you my flight reaction with the O3. So, right, dead random. This is the Pavo 35 and it should be able to hold an action camera. All right, dead random back. Um, let's go ahead and fire up the Let's go fire up the Pavo. It sh everything should be working. It look, looked really good yesterday. Uh, everything set up was pretty normal. Uh, a little bit tight of a setup with the O3. A little bit tight because of the distance, but uh, you can see I only have that much of the prop or the uh, that much of the antenna hanging out. No GPS. So one of the things I got to watch out for today is making sure that when I fly, I understand that if I have to crash. Um, I have to crash with a understanding that <laughs> I might not be able to find it. Welcome to HTX throttle warning. Okay, switches down, Switch throttle, warning. switches down. And just double check to make sure we're connected. I did get a, a positive beep in the goggles. So everything is good. And we do have controller. So, all right, I'm gonna, all right, flight video, here we go. Uh, hopefully, maybe you'll see the part of the, the takeoff, but uh, uh, let's see, do we have, let's, there we go, we're good. Now we've got everything good. Uh, quad is smarter than me. Uh, very smooth takeoff. And just like a Cine drone, a Cine whoop. Oh, it's so nice to fly with the X Lite because it's actually it's an actual real controller. It's not like that DJI Temperature thing. So I am going the direction of hey, wow, what great control. So I gotta be careful not to get too squirrely in here because I am flying 6S and I can really get away with a whole lot of stuff with 6S. <laughs> a little bit of jello there. But yeah, a little bit, actually a bunch of jello. Um, it is light on the front without the without a action camera mounted. I can I bet you the Jello actually reduces. Now this is Jello I'm seeing in the control inside of the goggles. Um, I have not I have not set up the camera in any specific way. This is just a test flight. I'm just you know doing a little bit of just a little practice flying. 
just getting used to the controls. Uh, looks like I've got all of my data on the left-hand side where it's hard to read. But I can see the DJI gear or the DJI control info, uh, which is fine. Gives me the voltage there. I can see it off into my left. There's a little vignetting. <laughs> hey, you know, we do have some N3 goggles coming. Maybe that'll take care of our vignetting issue. But uh, I don't know if I want to fly with my glasses on. That's the thing. I've been flying so long with, uh, with goggles. Yeah, a little bit of, little bit, oh, wow, it's so light. But yeah, 6S uh, Pavo 35. It's basically like flying a four inch. Um, yeah, very easy to, oh, wow, a lot of, yeah, I'm definitely getting a lot of, a lot of uh, jello kind of stuff going on, but I can just keep flying. There's really no, there's really no limitation in my, Remember the O3 fix that happened just recently? This is a O3 unit. Uh, everything has been updated um, according to DJI. And there, <laughs> excuse me. According to DJI's uh, fix, so so you're gonna see any HD drops in your in your info there on the screen. So looks good. Everything seems to be flying pretty good. I'll take it around the school, I guess. I always like going around the school with the, with the HD system because it does a great job with the signal penetration. But it is much bigger than flying the Neo, so we're going much faster. Uh, probably 15 degrees I've got the camera set at. And yeah, we're gonna get about a five minute flight, you know, just like most of the six S's, but a lot of power in that five minutes. A lot of control, a lot of great control. Another thing about six S we know is that we can really, it really holds its power curve. And especially if we have a nice light bird like this one, because this thing is very light. It's just, just flying. Oh, just the speed is just incredible. But uh, O3 is doing what O3 does, which makes flying easy, at least the visual part. Um, I have not checked to see if I have, where's my horizon mode here? It's air mode, angle. So it is. it does have angle mode set up. I just wanted to check that out. So I'm just gonna fly it back and land. All right, mow the lawn, man, with that thing. All right, dad ran and there we go. There's our first flight uh, and there's no camera. Uh, probably about five minutes of battery time. Um, very nice flyer. I uh, definitely got to mess around with the OSD. All right, let's go ahead and throw the action camera on it. Um, I should have done is sacrificed my, my uh, action four, but I'm gonna go for it. Throw the action five on it and and uh, pray, just fly good. <laughs> just fly good. Just just fly good, dead random. 
All right, Dad ran them back, and I am going to now mount on the, uh, got the action camera mounted, action five, and uh, let's make sure we have it turned on. Let's not break it. That's all I, that's all I got to say today. And uh, we should be good. Let's go ahead and get powered up. All right, we're powered up. All right. <laughs> All right, let's get that thing off here. Looks like we are ready to go. What is that? There we go. All right, there we go. Let's, uh, let's, let's fly. So uh, let's, uh, let's take off. All right, Dad Random ready to go. Yep, we are recording. Let's make sure we're recording, we're recording, we're recording. Or, uh, yes, we're recording, all right. Just double checking, we got some recording going. All right, so let's go fly. All right, Pavo 35. Let's get manual mode. All right, armed and... And we are flying with the Action 5. So far, so good. Um, I, I really think this is probably tuned for an action camera. <laughs> uh, the way it's flying right now is, uh, is perfect. So I do believe that this camera has been tuned to hold an action camera. Um, Everything seems smooth, and um, yeah, I, I'm I'm seeing a really RSSI critical. Ooh, ooh, RSSI critical. Let's not do that, especially with our action camera on it. So nice. I'm definitely going to take it easy with this flight. Super nice. And you can see I can really maneuver nicely within the trees. And this is the battery that comes with the Pavo. This is the Lava 1100. So this is not a, uh, this is not a lightweight. This is a very, you know, this is a this is a hefty little flying kit going on right here. So when you're flying through stuff with this heavy kit, um, you need to have a lot of control, and it it does seem to be doing a great job, a great job with that. Little bit of butt puckery at first, but um, I think I'm losing that butt puckeriness. <laughs> you know how it is when you're flying with a lot of weight, and then of course you got a lot of expensive gear attached to that weight. But it does seem like it's powering through, you know, some, and like I said, I think I have the, the camera set up uh, same as the uh, it's the same as the O3, so we should be getting a similar image. And it looks like we're able to see if we can flip. Oh yeah, we're flipping. <laughs> with 6S, you really have a lot of control, like, you know, with, with for maneuvers like that. So, and that's the advantage of flying 6S, but yeah, action camera, full on action five at, <laughs> action going on here. I have no idea what the action five footage is gonna look like. It should look pretty dang good. Right, here's our little backflip there. As far as the, uh, the rolls are concerned, um, it does roll really nice. 
I mean, that's a really good roll with the weight that this thing's got on it. So, yeah, Pavel 35, uh, another win for the Beta FPV uh, team at the Pavo. Uh, I've flown all three Pavo birds, Pavo 20, Pavo 25, and now Pavo 35. And I am, I'm in love with this thing. I think, I mean, I mean, look at that. Just great. I think the, the, the goggle footage is smooth. So I can't imagine what the 03 footage is, you know. I can't imagine that it isn't just amazing. And we're just, now we're just kind of doing some light, some light flying here. Stay away from that tree. We're at the end of our flight, and that's usually where you make a mistake. And I've got too much gear on here to to make a mistake today. So that's a great flight. That is an excellent flight. Let me go ahead and let's put it into uh, angle mode and bring her back in in one piece. As my goal is to survive the flight, and I, I think I think I'm probably being more cautious than I need to today, because this thing literally flew is good. Oops, let's get it out. Yeah. All right, we gotta set it right there. All right, All right, coming back. All right, that was great. That was a great flight. All right, there, there you go, Action 5. What do you think? <laughs> Great flight. By the way, uh, let me go ahead and shut this off, but uh, yeah. All right, dead random. This is the Pavo 35, and it should be able to hold an action camera.